Hey, what's up everyone? It's Brian. Hey, uh, just a heads up, for the next couple weeks I'm just going to be shooting videos on my iPhone, so they're going to be kind of, eh, production quality. Uh, my computer crapped out on me, and so I've got to wait for it to get repaired, and I'm going to send it in probably tomorrow and uh, see if it can get repaired. What happens is there was like a, I, I plugged it in to charge it, and there was like an arc on my keyboard of power, I went, eh, and then it fizzled, and then smoke came up, and it smelled like burn electronics, so that's probably not a very good sign. So what I'm going to try to do going forward is do everything on tablet and uh, we'll see how that works and use a Bluetooth external hard drive to store all my big files and all that stuff and do all the video stuff. So anyway, just a heads up with that, I wanted to give you all a heads up. And then also too, um, i am decided that I'm going to start doing a new video series and what this is going to be like is more of like a day in the life of what it's, what it's like to live like this, to, to live a nomadic lifestyle in uh, the United States. And the reason why I want to do this is because like most of my videos are just how to like you know how to truck camp, how to how to winter camp, how to work a stove, all that stuff. But it's like it doesn't give you a window into just how the day to day activities are and and all that stuff. And so um, what I wanted to do was was have this be the first episode of that. So I'm going to call it Nomad Life Episode One Dash Hot Springs because I'm here in Arizona at, at some off grid hot springs at the moment. And that's what I wanted to show you. So I'm going to flip the camera around and. Um, you got Sierra chilling right there. Sorry, there's a little bit of wind and I don't have a microphone on, so it's probably, probably hear that coming in, but I'll try to try to cover it up as much as possible. But anyway, the, these are the Verde Hot Springs. And what this is, is there was a hotel here, as it was actually a jazz club, a resort, back in, it was built in 1922. And um, unfortunately, this place burned down in the 60s. And so the foundation is still here and all the hot springs, of course, are still operating because you know it's geothermal activity. And so uh, the foundation for the resort is actually, I think it's around the corner there, and that's where the hotel was. And then these are where the hot spring pools were. And I'm pretty sure that this one right here, this there's no, nothing flowing through this. I'm pretty sure that was just like a cold plunge because it's next to the, the room here, which has the, the, um, the, the most, like the hottest, hottest water. It's like 104, I would say. But it's cool. It's kind of, you know, over the years, people have come in and, and added some art to the, structure itself into the foundation there's a uh, on these all these little support pillars out here there's just different stuff uh, that people have put on there over time I think it's pretty cool looking and this one's kind of funny down here like Bigfoot can see you <laughs> so I'm not really sure what's up with that pickle nose on that guy but uh but anyway cool artwork around here and uh this pool that's right here this one is about 96 97 so it's a great daytime pool especially in full sun and it's pretty deep i mean i you know i it's uh if i touch the bottom my head's under underwater and i'm six feet tall and then um going back to this room here with all the cool art i want to show you the interior of it because it's really incredible people put a lot of time into uh putting their own brand of art in this so uh there's no obviously no roof on the the room here but people come in and uh you know paint paint on the walls put cool little sayings um try to make the artwork flow and i think it's i think it's really awesome uh that right there is actually a depiction of the old hotel that was here uh, in the jazz club and then the building that is just to left over right there that's actually the the building that we're standing in right now so uh this pool like i said it's about 104 really really comfortable um, it's a great pool to hang in and even during the daytime you see like half of it's in the shade and so I've been chilling over here I got here about 10 a.m. it's about 1 30 right now and I'm gonna probably head back to camp and maybe pack up tonight to head over to Shelby Road because I'm gonna meet up with some friends in Sedona um, tomorrow afternoon but I'm not sure yet I may stay here and come back for the evening and and, and uh, kick it at, uh, at the hot springs some more but looking at this artwork I want to take you up close to some of it just really cool stuff. People have spent a lot of time in here creating this artwork. And it's kind of interesting. You think like, you know, okay, so back in the day when it was that resort jazz club, you know, the the elite were here and they were kicking it, but now the hippies have taken over. And uh, I like this one the best. So when you get big blues, I think that's a cool. Kind of cartoon, kind of like old school cartoon. And this one's funny too, the raw berry. <laughs> I like that. So anyway, um, but I want to show you two more things. There's there are two caves over here, and um, I think one of them was an old 
hot spring pool that you could go into back in the day when this place was fully fully operating and it's cool too like i want to mention that they clean this place there's people that come in here and clean it like once a week i think they're from camp verde but uh, there's a cave that goes back in here i'm going to grab my headlamp so i can show you guys this but i think that this was a room um it looks like down here if i shine the there's a there's a there's water it's all filled in now with muck but I'm wondering if that was an old, uh, like a hot spring pool, because it looks like it was carved out here, you know. And then there's a little, little wall there. And then over on this side, if we look this way, it looks like uh, kind of like an area to chill out. It looks like someone was back there burning some candles and hanging out. So um, there's this cave that goes back. And I think, uh, obviously, I think that's a pool. I mean, obviously, there's steps going down in there. And then a uh, little water comes out this way. Spider right there. What's up, dude? Um, we'll go to the next one over. The next one over, I'm not really sure what that one was. I don't even know if it was a hot spring or if it was just a little cave that they built to try to access the water. Because I'm pretty sure those caves were built in order to get the water to come out so they could tap into the vein. Because this one right here, I mean, it's just the other side of the wall. And there's a bunch of water in here, but it's all mucky looking and kind of gross. But uh, anyway, that's the hot springs, um, really cool area. I sat here yesterday and watched a bunch of uh, falcons fly like right in this area. They were flying all over. Dang, man, it's getting windy. They were flying all over and it was really cool to hang out in the hot springs while the clouds were coming over and uh, had those falcons flying overhead and just kind of bombing and getting food and stuff like that. So. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and log off here. I'm going to go back to camp and get this uploaded for y'all. And then, uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing YouTube videos via the iPhone going forward for the next like week or two until I get back to Kansas. And so uh, bear with me with the production quality, but I uh, de definitely want to just keep bringing you guys along with what I'm doing. So um, thanks for tuning in. And if you've got any suggestions as to what you'd like to see in this series of uh, Nomad Life, then let me know and I'll do an episode according to uh, whatever the requests are. So thanks for tuning in.